Hello and welcome again to Lightworks. This video is basic editing, part 6 of the Lightworks quick start tutorials. In this video we're going to learn how to start a new edit and learn about the four edit functions on the viewer based consoles. Replace, insert, delete and remove. The first two are used to put picture and sound into your edit and the last two to take picture and sound out of your edit. We'll look at each function in turn. To start a new edit go to the toolbar and click on the small icon that looks like a timeline. If you right click on the new edit icon and select new edit settings as well as selecting how many default video and audio tracks you require you can now set an edit length. Choosing values above zero will populate your timeline with black so you're free to place your clips at any position across that duration. Pressing set will remember the settings permanently. An empty edit viewer appears on the screen with an empty timeline. I'll give my edit a name. Notice that the edit has a red border. Now select your first clip and double click on the tile in the bin. This is going to be our source viewer while we're editing. On the viewer console we have the functions for replace and insert to the edit here. On your edit console the functions for remove and delete will be here. Note the blue border on the source viewer. I'll just pin the viewers and the timeline into these positions. Using either the viewer transport controls or keyboard shortcuts find your clips in point. Mark this by clicking in on the viewer console. A blue mark appears in the strip in the source viewer. Now find your out point. What? Like they're ever going to give that part to Monica. <laughs> if you want, you can mark this point by clicking out, which would add a second blue mark to the strip, but there's actually a shortcut. In the absence of a second blue mark, Lightworks treats the frame you're parked on as the out point. We call this mark and park. To save time, I'll be marking and parking through the rest of this video, rather than using the out button. Now click replace. The mark section goes into the edit. The edit viewer is blank because we're parked at the next frame at the end of the clip we've just added. Now our second clip. Double click on the tile and our source viewer now contains the new clip. To save time, I've already marked and parked the section I want in the source clip, so I just click replace again. The second clip joins the first in the edit. I use replace again to add a third clip. Notice how on the timeline the clips have different colours. This is very useful. As you build up your edit, you can see at a glance which sound belongs to which picture, or if a clip is reused elsewhere, simply by the colours. Like they're ever going to give that part to Monica. <laughs> Did you see her dress? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more like a birthday suit if you ask me. So far we've marked and parked in the source. What if we want to mark a section in the edit? For example, while Sarah is talking, I might want to cut away of Kesa listening. Again, use replace. Mark where you want the cutaway to start. <laughs> more like a birthday suit if you ask me. And park where you want it to end. <laughs> More of a birthday suit. And then on the source, just park where you want the in point. Deselect the audio track on the timeline, so just the picture is replaced. And click replace. It's done. If you want to remove the remaining marks on the edit on the timeline, click the clear button on the edit viewer. <laughs> yeah, more like a birthday suit if you ask me. Remember, you should only mark one of the viewers, the source or the edit, but not both. The insert function is simpler. Insert places material at the cut point and shunts all the clips on the timeline further down the edit. 
You can insert anywhere on the timeline, but it's more usual to insert at a cut point. To make sure you're exactly on the cut point, use the jump buttons on the viewer transport bar. I want to insert a shot at the start. Just mark and park a section on the source. And click on insert. The new material goes in and the following clips are shunted down. Remember, to keep things in sync, all tracks need to be selected before you insert. This insert is far too long, which is where delete comes in. Delete is the opposite of insert. Just mark and park the section you want deleted. And press the delete button. The section is now cut out and the edit is shorter. Again, all tracks need to be selected to keep things in sync. The final function on the viewer base console is remove. Think of it as a lift function. Picture and sound is lifted out of your edit, leaving black and silence. Let's remove the background noise under the shot of the candle. I'm going to mark and park my section. Deselect the picture and click remove. The background noise is now gone. Once you get faster on Lightworks, you can replace a lot of the on-screen functions with keyboard shortcuts, like I and O for mark in and mark out, B, V, X and Z for replace, insert, delete and remove. The Lightworks keyboard, available from EditShare, has all of these functions and more printed on the keys. The keyboard is available in English, French, Spanish, German and Japanese. That's all for part 6. In the next video, we'll show you the real beauty of editing on Lightworks, trimming on the timeline, 